Good morning, everybody. This is Ian with Karen Roofing Group. Uh, we are here tearing off in Dumont, right outside Idaho Springs. Uh, this is going to be a IKO Dynasty job, uh, Shadow Brown. You can see we have quite a bit here to tear off today, uh, about 24 square. This is another project that doesn't have uh, any access for roof load, uh, just because of all of the trees that we have around here and the power lines. So we're gonna have to work around that. The material was ground dropped, so we're gonna have to take that up by ladder. These soffits are a little bit larger than normal. We do have to go two feet in from this exterior wall that way on the roof. Um, and then we also have to account for this massive soffit uh, over this front door. So we're gonna have to go two feet in. So from the eave over here, all the way two feet in past that exterior wall, uh, are rows of ice and water shield. So a lot of ice and water shield here um, that we're gonna have to account for. We wanna point out the importance of laying tarp down around the home, uh, just catching all that debris, mostly nails. You know, shingles are very easy to pick up. Nails require a uh, magnet to pick up and it takes quite a bit of time. Um, we wanna reduce the risk of flat tires. We wanna reduce the risk of nails in dogs' paws. Uh, so look over here in this driveway, we've got tarp coating around the entire house here where we're gonna be throwing material off uh, that's just going to help with cleanup and help protect the property as much as possible. Completely cover the back deck as well. Uh, this is not where we throw material off of, but you know, wind can pick up and wind can take material where we don't want it to go, such as back here. Um, this is the bottom side of a slope, so it's very common for material to land here quite often. But notice how everything is covered. The point is to protect the property as much as possible as we work. Uh, just that extra level of care for our clients. We have ourselves dried in here. We are waiting for the mid-roof inspection. You'll see the ice and water shield all along the eave. Um, we've gone actually four courses in on that side as well as over there, just due to the size of the soffit underneath. Um, we've also got that um, ice and water shield up the valleys, and then we put our, our synthetic felts on the roof as well. Safety harnesses here um, for fall protection. Uh, that's one very well-known safety feature on just about every roof is the safety harnesses that the guys will wear. Um, the other thing that's not really well-known, but I'm sure you guys see it all the time on a roof, are these old couch cushions. I know it's very uh, weird to see something like this on a roof, but the, the interesting thing about couch cushions is that they grip to just about any surface and you can walk on them and they don't go anywhere. All right, we are all done here. Final inspection has passed. Um, this is the IKO Dynasty Shadow Brown. A um, couple of features I wanted to point out on this finished roof. Over here we had flashing that was pre-existing and it was tucked up underneath this siding. And in order to get it out, we have to cut the siding. So instead of doing that, what we did was we installed step flashing on top of it in accordance with code. And then we put counter flashing over top of that and then seal it up even further. Um, that's just gonna help this particular problem area from being a problem area. Another thing we did down here at the very bottom is we installed a kick out on the step flashing. That will allow that water to run down this corner here and get diverted into the gutter instead of getting behind where that silicone can easily fail. This one never had ventilation, but um, now this has a ridge vent. So we've improved the ventilation and we've made it look seamless and low profile. Um, very, very good look to it. This house did not originally have drip edge. So we've installed that drip edge along, the, on, along each edge here. This is the rake edge. The gutter is eave. So that is a feature as well. You may be wondering where the intake is for this particular attic space. And uh, it's very unique to this building. This space here is actually acting as the uh, gable vent. So you can't really tell from here, but there are openings in between um, those timbers and it's allowing air to come in. So it's a natural, the way it was built, it's naturally allowing air flow in to the ridge vents. And that is just about it for the uniqueness of this particular project. You can see that beautiful shadow brown color um, complemented very well by the uh, environment.